so I'm so reborn. I'm moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Ain't no stress on me. is going on YouTube it's age back with a brand new video uh, today I wanted to show you a very 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 big pickup uh, that I just got maybe last week or a couple weeks ago uh, but I haven't been able to show you guys it is probably the most expensive sneaker naturally nah, it is probably the most expensive item in my entire collection uh, and that goes for sneakers, clothes, accessories, uh, just about anything. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanted to open one piece of mail uh, that I got last week. Uh, as you can see here, it's from Uniqlo. Um, I'll go ahead and open that first and then I'll get into the most expensive piece in my entire collection. Uh, but first things first, we'll go ahead and open this box. <laughs> We have the Uniqlo uh, Takashi Murakami and Doraemon collaboration plush. I got two of these, one for myself and one for my girl. Or two was the maximum you could get per customer, so I went ahead and got two. And uh, Uniqlo was having this deal if you spent over $50, and these were $25 and some change. These were $29.90 each. So if you spent over $50, they'll send you a large Cause Peanuts Snoopy plush in black. Um, so this will be my my fourth large or my fifth large Cause Snoopy plush. Um, I might be doing a giveaway for this just because I have so many already. Um, but shout outs to Uniqlo for the freebie. So once again, this is the Takashi Murakami Doraemon. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Doraemon, he is a character from the self-entitled um, manga slash anime from the late 60s and early 70s. Apparently he's like this futuristic part robot, part cat um, that was sent back into time to help this guy, the main character, Nobita. It was like a coming of, a coming of age manga slash anime. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really watch the anime or read any of the mangas. However, when I was living in Japan, if you didn't see like Sanrio things, the next best thing was Doraemon or the next thing that you would see would be a Do Doraemon. So over here we have this tag and oh yeah, there's that price, $29.90. Uh, this is in collaboration with Takashi Murakami. Takashi Murakami is a contemporary artist from Japan. Takashi Murakami is one of my, if not my most favorite contemporary artists. It's really between like him and Brian Donnelly, of course, who is Cause, who makes these guys over here. So over here on the print, you see Takashi Murakami's famous flowers mixed in with a bunch of Doraemons. Uh, this is Kobita, uh, as I said earlier, who's the main character. And then the girl, I completely forgot her name, but uh, it's like his love interest slash best friend. It's just a really cool, colorful piece. Uh, like I said earlier, I really, really like Takashi Murakami. He's made some of my most favorite works of art. One day, I hope to own a canvas or an original art piece from him um, but until then this will do Takashi Murakami is also accredited for making the Kanye West graduation album cover as well as the, the Kanye West graduation bear uh, the one with the colorful eyes more recently he actually also created the album art for uh, Kid See Ghost which is another Kanye West and Kid Cudi collaboration album that just came out last week and I have to say, that album is nearly as good as Ye, if not better. Um, I would say that both of those albums are at least a nine on my book. They're both seven tracks long and I've probably listened to both albums in its completion at least 20 times by now. Ye's only been out for two weeks. 
not even two weeks, like a week and a half, and Kids See Ghosts only came out this past Friday, and it is Sunday when I'm filming this. That brings me to my next point. So let me put these to the side. The huge grail that I wanted to show that I just picked up comes in this brown box. Many of you might not be familiar with what this brown box is, the ones you see at the top. You might have an idea. Over there it says Louis Vuitton. Pull these out, show you what's inside. As you can see, it's wrapped in a Louis Vuitton dust bag. And... They are the coveted Kanye West Louis Vuitton collaboration patchwork Jaspers. Um, now like I said earlier, this is probably my most expensive sneaker. Um, they retailed at, I want to say, $1,100 or $1,140 or something like that. My homie Darren picked these up on release date. He got two of these. I want to say he got two of the Patchwork Dons. I think he got the Red Dons as well. I'm not entirely sure how many pairs of those he got. Uh, but he bought them from the Louis Vuitton store here in Hawaii in Ala Moana. Cut me a super, super good deal. Not extremely far off from retail, maybe a few hundred dollars more. Um, but you're never gonna find a pair of these for that price. It's far below market value. I've wanted these for so, 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 so long. Cheapest I've ever seen it was like $3,500 or $2,750 or something like that. To me, I just didn't have that kind of money. Um, so I kept searching, kept searching. Finally, my friend Darren said he was ready to sell his second pair. And I said, fuck it started selling a whole bunch of things and now it's mine. It's made up of several different materials. Over here you have the patent leather, inside you have regular leather, suede all the way around. I mean, if you could just see it, it's just so beautifully constructed. Uh, the sneaker came out in 2009, a little after um, the Yeezy 1 came out. Uh, Yeezy 1's came out, they were retailed at like $245 or something like that, which is high at the time. And then the resale for those were going upwards around like a couple thousand dollars or a thousand dollars at least. These retailed at a thousand dollars. As soon as these came out, people were charging like five, ten thousand dollars. There's not much I can say about this shoe that isn't already said just by looking at them. Uh, of course, you have the tassels here. I believe the tassels only came out on the Patchwork Dawns and the Patchwork Jasper, which I've had both or now I have had both. Over here on the tassels, if you can see, probably can't see it, but it says Kanye West right there on the tassel. On the other side, it has the LV logo. If you can see that. Uh, of course here, you have the Louis Vuitton symbols on the bottom, just that LV, that super hyper pink sole, gray upper, white laces, brown back, it's such a classic sneaker and I can't believe I own it. Uh, I'm still pretty baffled by it. Um, we have the insoles. The insoles say Louis Vuitton and Kanye West. Made in Italy. And on the bottom it says Louis Vuitton Paris. And then of course you have the two booklets that tell you how to take care of it. And some other information on it and then of course an extra pair of laces the patchwork jaspers um, were constructed a little bit differently from the other two jaspers that came out there were three total uh, this bigger strap wasn't on the other two colors they only had this smaller one um, and if you look at it this kind of looks like the mason margella mirror sneakers or whatever sneakers that they have that uh, kanye used to wear a lot too I think a little after Yeezus, he wore them quite a bit. I, I'm I'm really just speechless over this shoe because it's so fucking classically beautiful and you can't really say much more about it, you know? You just look at it and you know. One more time, I just wanted to shout out the homie Darren. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to, to own these. Uh, I'm still in disbelief that I actually have a pair. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like, leave a comment if you like as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.
Very rarely do you catch me out. Y'all done specially invited guests me out. Y'all been telling jokes that's gonna stress me out. Soon as I walk in, I'm like, let's be out. I was off the chain. I was often drained. I was off the meds. I was called insane. What an awesome thing. Engulfed the shame. I want all the rain. I want all the pain. I want all the smoke. I want all the blame. Call